Bom dia. All right, so today we're here. gonna holla at my friend in the favela. So. Welcome to Rocinha. Look back. Which is right through those mountains, uh, or right through that hill on the other side right there. Let's go. So the first thing you want to know about the favela is that most Ubers will not enter inside of the favelas. All right. Uh, they have their own taxi uh, system there. A lot of you have a lot of bikes. Um, you also have cars as well. But most people just take the bikes to go up top to the uh, to their destination. All right. So more than likely uh, when you get there, they're going to say, hey, you know, basically you got to get out here. And then you find your ride up to wherever you're going in the favela. Uh, luckily, I'm with my friend Hobson, and he picks me up at the bottom. And now we headed to his place. We're gonna check out his apartment, uh, his apartment building, and then we're gonna do some exploring in the Rosina favela from there. It's funny, man, because it's almost like two different sides of, of Brazil. You got the, the nice sector, of course, you know, uh, and you also have the favelas. And the favelas, they're like their own little city within a city. Now, the Rosina favela is pretty much a very safe favela. It's a lot of tourism within it, uh, so they keep it pretty safe. It's a lot of rules in this favela as well. Uh, no robbing, no stealing, anything like that, man. So in in most terms, most times you're going to be safer in the favela than you actually are in tourist areas like Copacabana. Let's check out our friend Hobson's place. So the cool thing about the favela is uh, it's very cost efficient, right? So the rent in the favelas can range anywhere from a hundred bucks to two, three hundred dollars. So right now we are in uh, Hobbs's apartment. This is a nice, very nice one bedroom. AC has a washer, washer as well. So now I'm gonna go check out my uh, friend of mine, uh, Diego's apartment Diego here. here. This is right here is a two bedroom. All right, so we in the, the Ocina Favela right now, and we're about to go check out my homeboy's apartment here. All right. <laughs> Video. You smile? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, it's your number. Oi. It's your number. Name. See. Bia. Bia. Nichi. Brazil. Da onde? Da onde? Da onde tu é? País. Quanto tempo? Tchau. Vocês vão voltar pra comer? Uh, ah, yeah. sim. Vai voltar? Vai ir, vai voltar? Sim, sim. Oh, I've got a bike too. <laughs> we getting on? The best way in the Hacienda uh -huh. is with the bike. Okay. Yeah, bro. All right. You know, we have a Flores, a uh favela, -huh. and a beach. Okay. We have everything, bro. Beautiful man, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's a uh, price right there. Uh huh. And then Lake, of, Lake of Rodrigo de Freitas, uh -huh. right? This is an amazing place in Rocinha, bro. We have a nice view, right? This is a Mirante Rocinha. It's the best restaurant in Sur of Rio, right? Okay. Enjoy it. Nice, very beautiful. Favela, you know, they have a place for kids. They help every month. They have a place. Okay. Uh, everybody in Favela. <laughs> they make this space for free for oh, the okay. kids. You know, the kids from Favela can play here for free. Okay. Free, free, free. Right. And uh, the weekend we have a party. We have a. Show, music show. Oh, so it's a party right here on the yeah, weekend. Right okay. here on the weekend. Nice. No? And the week the kids can play in here, no? The kitchen here. Right clean. Clean, clean, Very clean. clean. The best food. Right? Farm before. 
It was a forum? Okay. Yeah, it's a forum. You know? Uh -huh. The people from north of Brazil, they come to Rio and to work here and they live in Rocinha. They make house, they start the building, building, building. Okay. That's why today is a favela, you know? Okay. What's more easy and cheap? That's my Rocinha. I love it, bro. Nice. nice, nice, nice place. Yeah. Place to be. I love it. Welcome to Asia. <laughs> I'm decked up on blue bills And I won't stop until the cash pit Look like fall leaves in the backfield Tell her out of my face if she coming with that bull Quick to save my peace, I'm so after school special She brainy but them jeans looking like paint I gotta bless her Let's talk a whole lot, no one damn well They really can't press us I notated on leaflet I'm really up a few levels with it Like way, way off the way from them Can't see me, you can't meddle with us J in my Earl Grey hood brunched up with the cheese eggs and a dumb face, no stunner shade still turned up. Then had it pop in in broad day, that's RV. Flower chow from the sun. You come to the dark room. Come on. Let me show you the better sunset. Wow. Amazing. That's favela. We are on the top. This is the very top. Top of favela. Nice. That's our sunset. Beautiful. I come to Rocinha six years ago. No, I haven't been in Norway for six years. And I live in the farm here in Rio. My family is from the farm, but I don't want to live there. I have friends here, you know, I have a work behind here. So it's the best place to be in Rio. If you don't, if you are not rich, 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 okay? the best place you can enjoy the beach the, the good place you know good restaurants it's safe you know everybody told me it's Rossian is dangerous but it's not you know it's not you are safe here you can walk with the watch cell phone whatever you want you know if you live here you cannot be uh, scared you, you don't need to mm -hmm. you know it's so the best place. For me, it's the best place. I work, you know, I have um, I have a business with a pint house and I live here. I, I'm happy. Hmm. Just come. Very good, very good. And I can help you, whatever you want. Okay. And so here is safer than Copacabana? Yeah, of course. Of course. Mostly safe. Mm -hmm. You cannot work like this in Copacabana. You go to the beach in Copacabana, you can't have your fun. Mm -hmm. You went with me today on San Conrado Beach, you know? San Conrado. Oh, San Conrado. Okay. San Conrado Beach is amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing. You know it. Yeah, it was you, good. You come today, you know? <laughs> it's the best beach for me. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Just cool, come. Cool. And what are some of the, like, um, the issues? Do y'all have any issues with, you know, the government living in the favelas or? In favela? Yeah. They try, but we are too much. We are. 250,000 people here, bro. Mm -hmm. What they can do. Exactly. They try, but mm -hmm. we don't. Okay. You know? All right. Now tell us about the women. How do you approach Brazilian women? Um, we, in Brazil, in Rio, it's very popular to, the guys think it's uh, Rio girls, 
sputa. Mm -hmm. It's not like that. Mm -hmm. The real girls do what they want to do. Mm -hmm. You know, it's easy. You, if you are nice with the girls, you can get some girls. You know, mm -hmm. you just need to be nice. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. it's easy. It's like it's ten girls for two guys. Nice. Rio. It's right. too much girls. Too much girls. You just need to be nice. You know, it's easy. Are the women real jealous here or? Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the, the real girls, it's jealous. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Crazy. You need to be careful. <laughs> it's crazy. When the girls like you, bro, stop. Mm -hmm. You need to be with her. Mm -hmm. If you don't want, just say, hello, I don't want more, bye bye. Mm -hmm. If you want to be with the girls, just stay with them. Because the girls from Rio is jealous. Crazy jealous. Mm. Okay, right? Okay. Crazy. They can kill you. Wow. <laughs> Does that happen sometimes? Yeah, sometimes. Oh, man. They can kill you. Okay. The girls are crazy. All right. And you said they have parties here, but they got to contact you to go to the parties. They just can't come in here and party, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The so, girls just invite you. Okay, cool. Yeah. So make sure you know somebody. Make sure you hit him up on Instagram. He can show you guys around. Uh, he has tours as well. Uh, you do like the gliding the tour. Can you explain that? Yeah, I do it. Gliding mm -hmm. tour, mon mountain tour, you know, favela tour. Mm -hmm. And I make a transport. Mm -hmm. um, transfer. Airport to the hotel. And I make buzios. I help Cabo. Okay. You know? I work like that. Excellent, excellent. And I speak man. English, Spanish, Norwegian. And ah, Portuguese. hablo español. Yeah, hablo español. Muy bien, muy bien. Yeah. All right. Have you ever been to Colombia? Have you ever been to any, no, any other never. countries? No, I have been in Venezuela and Curaçao, mm -hmm. Aruba. Never in Colombia. Okay, okay. But I, I speak English in my second, second language. Excellent, excellent. Okay, man. Well, I appreciate you coming on, bro. Thank you very much. Welcome. All right, y'all make sure y'all check out his Instagram. Peace. Uh, so I definitely want to thank Hobson for showing me around uh, the whole scene in Favela. Uh, we had hang out the whole day. Uh, we met at the beach in San Cajado. Uh, very dope beach. You know, everything was cool, man. Really good vibes all day long. You know, it's nothing like a tour guide that'll kind of welcome you, welcome you in and really give you uh, that Brazilian experience. So guys, make sure Check out his Instagram, you know, inbox him if you want a tour from him. Uh, make sure you check him out. His Instagram is here at the bottom of the screen.